All right, so let's deconstruct what's going on here. Firstly, I'm playing it all on the low strings with my thumb. It's based on this concept, maybe you've played a C chord, like this with the low G in there. So that shape with those three fingers is what I'm using for the B chord, B major, C major, and a D major. The E minor chord at the beginning is just barring that first finger. So that's the chords, the shapes. The next thing is knowing the scale. That's along the D string, fourth string. There you go, so I'm getting the first few notes of the melody. Now we're playing a similar concept. So what I'm doing a lot of, and it will repeat through each of the chords, I pluck down the chord, then when I get to the D string, <clears throat> after I've plucked it, I'm doing a hammer on, pluck, hammer on, pluck, slide, pluck, pull off, pluck, pull off, pluck, slide. So that concept, if I'm going up this way, I'm either going to be using a hammer on and a slide, then I'm going back this way and I'll use a pull off and a slide. So here we go. Then to the D chord, which is a little bit of a stretch. But I mean, you can take this finger off to change position. It's still stretchy. Again, first part. So on this one. I played that bit um, so I strummed the, the B and then into the arpeggios so that's the intro if you can get used to playing these chords just on three strings if you're doing the E minor up here you have to change that shape like that, because that would be the E minor, D, C, B. So there you go, I hope that helped with the intro. If you're um, looking for private lessons, you're in Lyon, France, hit me up. I do Skype lessons as well, so for anyone all over the planet, I'm available. But hopefully you got something out of that and um, you can try out the intro and try your own variation on the same thing. It's that's what it's all about, having fun, enjoying the music. Okay, cool. Cheers.